morning, YouTube, friends and family. Uh, the sad moment has come Aww. when I need to go back to Maine. Boo hoo. No doubt. And Uncle has agreed, thankfully, to get up very early. I take care of the under butler. And get me to Sarasota Bradenton. So bum, see you at the airport. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I forgot my, that I had a bottle of water in my bag, so I had to go through an extra step on the screening, but that's okay. All right, just put my shoes back on and getting to my gate. Leaving Sarasota, <clears throat> down the ramp to the plane, on the way to DC.
Andrea, I don't know how she twisted your arm, but convinced you, I guess, to come pick me up. So well, I actually offered it up. Oh, that's great. So back in Maine, heading home. stretch five minutes from home what a crappy day out it is raining right now it's 33 degrees the roads are covered with nastiness and I'm probably gonna have to plow when I get home imagine just yesterday I was swimming in the water and now I'm still surrounded by water but it's all frozen <laughs> coconut that came from Uncle Steven's house that from a tree that he planted with a coconut. Because it looks like yeah. I thought were they are they're on the inside. The... Oh, so, so, so this is all the husky out out exterior. So coconuts are like You may have noticed you may not have noticed that when you're plowing you can't actually even see the plow that's why you pay attention to these two corner pins which tell you where the very top corner and edge of the plow blade is so you know where the plow is in relation to the front of the truck because the plow can be angled like this to push snow one way or the other or it can be flat to push snow straight. That's pretty much the secret of operating plow. Otherwise, it's just funny. You know, I'm thinking there's probably not even a single plow truck in Florida. You know, where I was this morning, I maybe in the northern part of the state, but I can't even imagine there being a plow truck in Sarasota County. Maybe I'm wrong. like it a whole lot. And <laughs> the girls don't like it when I grab their man. <laughs> Tell me my signs? I did. I saw all your signs on Facebook. Oh, you have them here? Nice. This is the one I spelled wrong, but I caught it. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. 
So I couldn't, it looked like, because a lot of the pictures were just close, so I couldn't tell like how many people were there. There were 10,000 people there. There was 10,000 people there? At the State House in Augusta. Wow. 1% of the state of Maine. 1% of the state of Maine was there. Almost, yeah. Wow, that is crazy. And just like, it was just nice, like people of all ages, people with little kids. And was people, there like... Me and people. It wasn't really a march, except for people walking from where they parked. It was like a stand in one place and listen to speakers. Sort oh, of okay. It was a women's march. Of course. We're tired of listening to men tell us right. what to think. There you go. A speaker who was an immigrant. There was a transgendered person, a uh, Native American, who talked about Standing Rock. So there was music and drawing. It was yep. like hippie. There was love, some hippie yep. experience. Everybody had their pink hats on or orange hats. People okay. had orange pussy hats and green pussy hats. Uh -huh. very mean. It was very mean. And lots of orange hunting hats when they didn't have the yeah. pussy cat hats. Yeah. And it was just like traffic i guess the traffic was back oh, a sure. mile on the turnpike i'm sure on, I mean, the, on the interstate on the interstate wow so they had just they, the whole thing started late to allow like time for traffic to get in oh that's like, crazy stop and go that's so, crazy yeah like wow. i've never seen it in augusta wow Ten thousand. So it was good people. it was very positive energy a positive mood and yep. it was sort of ah, i am exhausted that was a marathon seven days interspersed with some serious relaxation. <laughs> um, hey, thanks for coming with me on that crazy trip to Florida. I hope you had as much fun as I had. What the days to come will bring um, are probably, it's probably going to be a bunch of work. You know, I got to hop right back on my horse. Tomorrow's going to be a transition day. And then Thursday, I've got an energy audit. Friday, I've got an insulation job. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, I, I could insul do an installation job all night. I got a lot of work that's lined up, so it's really good. I'm excited for that. Anyway, again, thanks for coming with me, and I'll see you all in the morning.